Sup cuties, we're back with another video. Bangalore get here, and obviously you click this video, you see Giants franchise, and you're like, this isn't Giants franchise. This is a Madden menu, which is my usual content, to be fair. I understand that. Uh, but today, we're in share and manage files. So you just saw me move my monitor, because that's how I reposition my camera. And um, we go to community files here, and there is the 2019 draft class. So the reason I'm here, is because I'm currently on the fence on whether or not to use real prospects. So if I were to go into load and delete files here, I've already downloaded wherever this thing is. Is it franchise? It's in draft class. That makes a lot of sense. So I have that file there. The way I can look at it is in a franchise. I don't think I can currently look at it in here at all. I'm pretty sure there's no way to do that. So I'm going to load up a different franchise real quick and show you guys a few things. All right, so I'm going to simulate to week three here because that is the first opportunity that scouting actually becomes available. And um, then I'm going to show you guys what my issue is. So we're at the same point, week three in Giants franchise. And I do have some time to decide this. So we're going to play this week and I'll have the scouting in week four. I don't have to decide it now. But this menu would pop up and I can either choose from auto-generated rookies, I can download from the Madden share, and I, or I can import a local file, one of which I've already downloaded. You guys saw me do it from, uh, I believe, Stayplation might be his name. And if you're watching this video, I do appreciate the effort that you've gone through to create this roster, this draft class, if you will. However, the reason that I'm so on the fence about using this, and you guys, if you guys have been subscribed to the channel for a while, if y'all have watched... A bunch of my prospect scouting videos you know that i'm pretty good with determining whether prospects are going to be good in the nfl and how good they're going to be what's a good baseline i i scout prospects i watch a lot of film actual film game tape uh, not just you know watching the games saying oh that the, the player looks good highlights or whatever my issue is this is a really really bad uh draft class in terms of actual ability so if i go to edit players and I can tell you guys right now, I would have no time, and probably we would get a comment like this before, I cannot create a draft class myself. I do not have time to do that. I really don't. How I would like to, I can't do it. I have no time. So if we were to look in the draft class here, Ed Oliver's an 83 overall. I think that's a pretty high overall, but I think that's fair. Ed Oliver is the best player in this class. I think Nick Bosa might be the number two player in this class. I don't think the disparity in overall should be this big. From 83, dropping, dropping all the way down to 79. I don't think that should be such a large disparity. If we go into quarterback, I think that Drew Locke is fairly overrated. Shea Patterson might be the number two quarterback in this class. I think that... A lot of these guys are just rated so poorly, it's unbelievable. Drew Locke, too high. Justin Herbert, 76 to 78 feels about good for him. He might be the best quarterback in this class. Of course, we got to see this season play out. But right now, as it stands, August 12th, these are terrible. Shea Patterson is uh, probably better than Drew Locke for me. Um, you could even make a case for Clayton Thorson being better, and he's only a 64 overall. To say that Kelly Bryant, who is terrible as a passer, at least he has been, is better than Clayton Thorson by almost 10 overall. And I know a lot of that goes into speed. Same thing with DeAndre Francois. Not a good passer, yet 10 overall points higher than Clayton Thorson. Will Greer, I think, might be the best quarterback in this class as terms of a pure passer and what you're looking for in an NFL quarterback. And he's a 63 overall projected round five. I think the best quarterback arguably in this draft class, which is out of everyone's favorite college for quarterbacks, North Dakota State in, uh, in Easton Stick, is not even on here. He's not even anywhere in the draft class. So I don't want to use a draft class that I think, one, so terribly rates a lot of the players in this draft class. Bryce Love, I have no problem with, you know, their number of players. I have no problem with where they are. But so many of them are rated so terribly. And another issue would be I already know all the overall. So I already know the best player to draft. So if I'm being honest, I'm leaning towards not using a custom draft class. At least for my franchise. Because one, I already know all the overalls. Two, I think the overalls are terrible and wrong. And I, I can't 
really stress that anymore. I just think it's a really, really bad draft class. And this is by far the most popular and most liked draft class. I mean, by a wide margin. So, I mean, I hope you guys can understand that. Definitely give me your opinion down in the comment section below. Because at the end of the day, I'm probably going to do what you guys want me to do. And just deal with it, even if it does suck. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm sure a lot of you will disagree with me because you like a player or something. But let me know down in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and get into uh, into uh, this Giants franchise week three game. All right, I know you guys are going to love this. You guys are going to love this. Um, there's more to do. We can't play the game just yet. I got to talk about gameplay sliders. We're making some more changes from week two, if you saw that. Um, quarterback accuracy... We still had a lot of misses from Eli. I'm going to keep it at a 55 for now. And we're just going to play another game. Pass blocking, I think that could go up to a 65. Wide receiver catching, I have no real issue with. I think 50 is fine. I know Odell dropped a couple of spectacular catches near the end of the game for us. That's fine. We're going to leave it at 50. Run blocking's got to go up. We had a comment that said 80 was the only way it actually plays okay. We're going to try 70 for now. And we'll go up to it later if we have to. I'm going to turn pass defense reaction time. Uh, interceptions and pass coverage all up by five and say what you want about Dak Prescott in real life his ratings in game are pretty average and if you check the box score from here and I'm, of course I'm not complaining because I know anything that happened in a game it just feels a little bit uh, disingenuine Dak Prescott lit us up through the air like 112 a quarterback rating he did have an interception but it was a, uh, a weird pass but he 27 for 34 79 pass completion percentage feels really really high especially considering that last year Dak Prescott he had an 86.6 QBR or quarterback rating um but if you look at his actual numbers and can I not find this I apologize guys but if you look at his uh his completion percentage over the past two years um it has not been anywhere close to that his completion percentage was... I'm going to have to make a cut here. I can't I can't find it. <laughs> All right. His career completion percentage is 65.2, including 67.8 last year. And that is just nowhere close to the 80 that he had. And I, I know it's like, oh, that's only 13%. 55, I shouldn't have turned it up. If anything, I'm going to turn it down slightly to a 45. And hopefully the quarterbacks will play a little bit closer to how they should in real life. Pass blocking... There has been no pressure at all. We have generated no pressure. And I've been sending blitzes. The only way you can get to the quarterback when you're the user is if you're a linebacker and you're controlling the blitz yourself. But even though we have a pretty good defensive line in terms of pass rushers, especially you take a look at Olivier Vernon. Block shedding is fine. I think run blocking is in a good spot. But Olivier Vernon is a pretty solid edge rusher. He just is. He's a very good player. He has 85 power moves. That's a pretty solid power move rating. And he has not gotten to the quarterback once by his by himself. Neither has Damon Harrison. And that's fine. He's a nose tackle. I don't expect him to generate an ungodly amount of pressure, even though he does have decent power moves at 82. Dalvin Tomlinson, similar deal. He's a 3-4 defensive end, mainly a run stuffer. But he does have 79 power moves. No one on this entire team has gotten any pressure on any down. So I think that should be turned down a little bit. So we're going to do that. And uh, I know this is a lot of action. People don't care about this. Skip to the video. I know a lot of people do care. Wide receiver catching, I think, is still bad. But we're going to leave it where it is. And um, a lot of times, nobody gets open. And that Cowboys secondary is not good. We're going to leave it where it is. We're going to see how it plays out. I'm sorry if I'm complaining a lot, guys, or if you see it as that. I'm trying to not... And I'm trying to just get the best experience for not only videos, uh, but for real solid gameplay. You guys can use these sliders if you like the way it plays. But today we have the Houston Texans. I'm sorry to ramble and rant for so long. I know this is probably five or six minutes into the video. I'll try to cut it down. Hopefully it's only like three or four, but it's, it's going to be long. Um, <laughs> Houston Texans versus the New York Giants. I'm excited. I think we can get our first win. The Texans are solid, but we have the option and the ability now to maybe run the football find odell have a second to throw in the pocket some things will be nice and i mean we're gonna see how they play bottom line all right we're gonna be at energy for this one that's uh jay prosh i believe and we had aldrich rosas to kick we're in the dome 
here at NRG, and it is, of course, closed. But uh, that's going to be what the roads are like for the Houston Texans today. Roads closed. We don't even have Xavier Rhodes, but like we're going to pretend we do. All right, Deshaun Watson is going to be an issue for us. I said last week that Dak Prescott was going to be an issue for us. Deshaun Watson might be a bigger issue for us. He is a, a super difficult player to play against. It's going to be a delayed handoff. It's actually a play action. That's totally my bad. But it's going to be incomplete as Nuke DeAndre Hopkins cannot haul that one in. I rushed down with Darian Thompson. That was dumb as hell, except we were in man, so I could get away with it. Because uh, if we were in zone there, and that's a deep zone, that was getting exposed. But I came down, made the play uh, in some capacity. All right. Waiting for something to develop there. J.J. Watt is going to sack us. That was a great start. The draft is going to be really interesting for us this year because, um, I mean, we have a lot of needs. We have some holes on this team where we're definitely not fine. We're going to roll out with Eli, and we're going to try this over the top. We got Russell Shepard, and it's going to be intercepted by Tyron Matthew. So much for scoring on the first drive. I thought we had him over the top, but it obviously is not Odell. Um, you guys like these sliders that Tyron Matthew just can't be tackled? Dude, all Madden is a joke. It's an absolute joke. I'm okay with him making the play on the interception, clearly. But, uh, good lord. Can nobody tackle him on, like, three different attempts? We're gonna be in business. And we are. I gotta watch out for Deshaun Watson. Tried to go for the hit, and there's a huge hit stick from Alec Ogletree. Even with the sliders on fumbles increased by five. Of course, Deshaun Watson gonna hold on to the ball as a quarterback out of the pocket. Very frustrating. Somebody's gotta make a play here. I did not mean to do that with Damon Harrison. We're going to cover it. Someone go after him. He's throwing. DeAndre Hopkins not only gets open, catches it, survives a hit stick for the touchdown. Texans going to go up probably 7 to nothing. as Deshaun Watson does a good job of rolling out there. Really hard to contain a player like him. And, of course, it's DeAndre Hopkins. He's one of the best receivers in the league. I expect him to probably hold on to that ball. Saquon Barkley, please. The spin move is so bad. It just really is. I talked to a lot of uh, guys I know that are good at the game. A couple of pro players in uh, in Madden. And they just say, it's just bad. There's nothing you can really do uh, if the thresholds aren't there. And on all Madden difficulty in the franchise, they're like, yeah, it probably won't work. So, that sucks. But we're going to go to Saquon Barkley again. And you just see, that's a spin there as we have an injury. Oh, God. <laughs> and you just it, it, nothing happens. So... If that's Saquon Barkley injured, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be so upset. We got Jonathan Stewart in the game, and uh, this was maybe the biggest run of the entire series. Eight yards up the middle, we get a block on the left side. Saquon Barkley has muscle cramps. We're gonna we're gonna play it safe with Saquon, and we're gonna run Jonathan Stewart. Jonathan Stewart in for the injured Saquon Barkley, and uh, not really finding anything. Oh, there's Odell. There's Odell. What a throw from Eli. Tried to spin back with Odell Beckham Jr. Down to the 29, though. Eli with a dot on the run. I don't know if this is going to get open or not, but I'm looking at Sterling Shepard if they're in a cover, too. Oh, I tried to... It, dude, it was going to get open. Whitney Merciless gets pressure. Sterling Shepard was going to have the touchdown. I just had to wait a second more for that to develop, and it would have been a TD. Really sucks timing-wise, but that's what you get when you're facing a good defensive line. They're going to get pressure. And Eli's going to fumble. I tried to throw it. We had an open guy. And uh, Saquon's back in the game already? Okay. Uh, this has been a tough start. Christian Covington with a recovery. And uh, I'm trying to take advantage of these defenses. And I just don't have the time. I'm trying. I'm trying. Eli's release is pretty slow. Tough to make excuses, but I'm, I'm trying, guys. I promise. There's a flag. This might be a free play. Or it could be holding. He's going to throw across. Make a play on the ball. It's intercepted by Darian Thompson. This could be huge. This could be huge. Maybe should have kept it in the end zone. If this is holding, which it very well could be, we've got an interception here and a turnover. It's going to be holding on the defense. Oh, why they call they call defense. We're, of course, going to decline this and take the ball. I think the reason they call defense was because the ball was intercepted. And Madden is programmed now that I am the offense and Houston is the defense. 
So they called it on the defense, even though Zach Fulton had the holding. Uh, that play might be the worst play of all time, as I have no time to throw on the bootleg. Literally, as soon as I'm allowed to, I'm hit. That sucks. Yep, I think that was the worst play uh, in, the pl in the game. I was going to say the playbook, but I'm going to say probably in the game. And then we find Evan Ingram. Oh my goodness. It says truck on the screen. Not exactly. So the one incompletion was uh, a throw. I don't even regret that much. Of course, it was, you know, into double coverage eventually. As a... Uh, oh my god, pressure's just so heavy. And then we had an injury. I might have to tune that slider a little bit. It might be Eli, dude. He took a wallop. And it is. Kyle Lalletta is the quarterback. Everyone's been asking for it. They want Kyle Lalletta to be the starter. But uh, he's in the game now. You guys got your wish. And it's Evan Ingram. Risky throw there, but we got the first down. Kyle Lalletta, 100% career completion percentage. Eli Manning sprained his wrist. We're going to give Kyle Lalletta a look. All right, Kyle Lalletta's ball game here. However, we are going to hand the ball off to Saquon Barkley and cut it up. It was a really good move there. Gets five or six on the carry. Might want to call more plays where we, we have a lot of blocking because uh, this, this pressure is kind of heavy. We got Saquon Barkley out of the backfield. There's a spin move where we actually maybe pick up an extra yard or two. I don't know. This might be cover three or something. I'm not really sure. Ran this play a moment ago. And um, we have Odell wide open over the middle. Going to take a hit from Zach Cunningham and hold on. Kyle Laletta. Not bad. Here's Laletta on first and 10. We're just going to check down. It's going to be Saquon Barkley. Oh, went for the hurdle. <laughs> Yo, can you imagine if we jumped him? Who is that, Kareem Jackson? Yeah, he's trash anyway. Huge third and five. I don't really like this play call. I don't really like that either. We're going to do, we're going to end Sterling Shepard. And we're going to hope something gets open here. It's going to be a blitz. And it's going to be Odell Beckham Jr. trying to outrun Tyron Matthew. Tyron Matthew's pretty quick. We played it conservatively. Uh, didn't want to turn over the football. Blitz came in pretty hot. So we're just going to take our points. Our kicking meter, or not our meter, but you guys know what I mean. The uh, the line actually shows up this week. Awesome. 7-3. This is improvement. We've got some points on the board. Uh, fantastic. Really, what can you say about, about mediocre offense? It's just great to see. So Lorenzo Carter is going to start at left outside linebacker in the spirit of getting guys more playing time. And um, there's no one at cornerback that uh, is really even good outside of Janoris Jenkins. Eli Apple uh, might as well. We'll call him the Apple core because you're going to stick him in the trash can because he's trash. I don't know what I'm doing there, but like, it made some sense. Oh, no, that's a good cut from Lamar Miller. Can't hit him. Big 10-yard pickup. Oh, that's a play action. That fooled me. And then what a great play from Lorenzo Carter. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he knocked the ball out. My mistake, but Zoe picks up on it. Great stuff. We're going to blitz him here. That's a run. That's a run. Oh, got over there, but he got the first. Great play from Josh Morrow. But where is Damon Harrison? He broke his fucking ribs. No. I can understand him eating ribs with a lot of size, size to do with it. Oh, man, I'm devastated. I can't even speak with that. Oh, man. That, that's rough. He broke his ribs. Oh, that's a great route. Lorenzo Carter again. Making a great play to stop DeAndre Hopkins from completing uh, that pass. Well, I mean... Catching the pass. Completing the uh, the catch, I should say. God, all right. This game's been weird. This is weird. We got a play action to Saquon Barkley, and we might have something wide open. And we're going to throw this. Oh, that's not a great throw. And there's a flag. They're going to call defensive pass interference on Andre Hall. That needs to be toned down a little bit. They're totally going to call that. Yeah, that's that's a bad call. And, of course, it is on Andre Hall there. Uh, I really thought that ball was going to be in a different spot because that could have been huge. We get the gain anyway. But, I, I mean, I don't think that's pass interference. 
as we find Evan Ingram in the slot, or in the flat, I should say. Kyle Aletta yet to uh, have an incomplete pass. However, got bailed out <laughs> to keep that alive. Dude, that's going to be open. Saquon Barkley's going to have the first down here. There it is. Saquon to the outside. We're going to spin back. I tried to take it. I could have gotten, like, two extra yards if I just continued through the tackle there. But I tried to make it maybe a potential seven extra or so. I'll take the first regardless. I can't complain. Are they going to blitz that down? Evan Ingram might have a touchdown here on the play action. We're going to go to the flat. It's going to be Shane Smith. Huge gain. All right. Sterling Shepard's going to be open on this. I think the linebackers need to come down. He's going to be open in the back middle of the end zone. And there it is. Sterling Shepard holds on. Touchdown. And there's another injury. Kyle Oletta completes his first career touchdown pass. And it's going to be a tie ball game. 10-10. Did I miss this? Doesn't matter because it's fucking blocked. Gets a tackle at least. Padding the stats there. Oh. But uh, a minute to go here in the second quarter. And that is a weird guy to throw to. And Eli Apple tackles nothing. This is Eli Apple's awareness level. We'll take a second look at it. Because Eli Apple clearly has absolutely no idea what's going on. Let's take a look at him. He's outside here. Playing off the ball. I get it. He's not going to be in position to make that play. But look at him. He's. Am I, am I getting him, guys? Am I bringing him down? No, Eli. You're not. Because there's nobody there. All right. Saquon Barkley. Oh, man. If the spin move was good, that could have been absolutely brutal. Of course, I can't make anybody miss. And I know some people just flick the right stick. It, it, like, that doesn't work either. I, I've, I've tried it all. Nothing works. If I, if I see someone, they're just going to tackle me. And that's pretty much the end of that. Third and ten. We're going to roll out with Kyle Aletta. We're going to throw the ball. Sterling Shepard makes the catch. Kyle Aletta still perfect through 11 passes. That's a big 24-yard pickup. For Sterling Shepard. Ooh, that looks like the safety's coming down. Rhett Ellison could be wide open. They're going to cover that. That's, that's a mistake. That's a mistake. Forced it pretty bad. Kyle Oletta gets involved on his second tackle. Jonathan Joseph with the interception there. Now I'm going to get his name right. I'm not going to call him Kareem Jackson. That's Kyle Oletta's first mistake because it's my first mistake. I should have thrown the ball away or tried to run. That was the last thing I should have done. Oh, Deshaun Watson's going to go deep. Eli Apple just got absolutely burned. DeAndre Hopkins is making Eli Apple look like a straight bitch. Which means that, um... Why is... Why is Eli Apple on DeAndre Hopkins? We're going to send him Olivier Vernon with the sack. Is that the first defensive end or defensive tackle sack? in Madden 19 for us? It might be. We're going to fourth... Uh, I have a lisp now, I guess. We're going to force the Texans to go for the field goal on fourth and goal. And uh, they're going to get it. 16 to 9. This is a winnable game for us. We just got to... We got to capitalize. Touchdown, Tizer. All right, we're going to look to rebound here after the mistake. Last drive. And that, that really, really hurt us because... We were in a good position. Odell's open. Odell's open. Down the middle of the field. And that's going to be intercepted by Tyron Matthew. Back-to-back -back interceptions for Laletta. And then I run by him as uh, Odell tackles his former LSU teammate and Tyron Matthew there. Oh, I thought that was open. They were in cover, too. The safeties were just too close to the middle of the field there. And we couldn't get the ball uh, central enough and uh, leaned a little bit towards Tyron Matthew. Kyle Laletta missed the mark a little bit. Otherwise, that's probably a touchdown. It's going to be a run play. Lorenzo Carter. Uh, did he make a play? I think he just got trucked over and Lamar Miller happened to fall down with him. It's his third tackle. I'll take it. This should absolutely cook cover two. It's not cover two. It's going to be, I believe, cover three. And Evan Ingram is wide open. Kyle Laletta misses the throw. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. Actually, it looked like that was, and I think it was a man blitz. This might be the same. Unless they're doubling up on Odell. 
We might have to throw a quick ball. And it's going to be Evan Ingram. Kyle! Throw the ball! <laughs> Accurately, I mean. Kyle Aletta misses two in a row. Can we not throw that slant? I need this. It's third and ten. Play action. I want to go Evan Ingram. I'm going to go Odell. Zach Cunningham makes a good play. I, I didn't trust him to throw to Ingram after two incompletions. John Greco, pectoral strain. We're going to keep him in the game. Uh, we got to go for it here. 831 to play. Ah, we don't have to. But okay, so it'd be 22 to 9 if they kick the field goal. If we can hold them. I need we're gonna go for it. This is bad going for it situation, but we're gonna go for it. We only have two timeouts. I'm gonna be honest, I called one accidentally. Before. Oh my god, Saquon, dude! JJ Watt gets his third sack of the game. This is, I just, I gotta go into replay mode and, and really see what went wrong here. I thought it was a good call. I wanted something to develop there. But look at this. Look at this. Saquon runs across. So when I try to step up in the pocket, and of course I know why he's stepping across, it's to block JJ Watt, who is in the process of getting beat. It's good awareness. But he blocks me right fucking into him. So even though I want to throw right here to Evan Ingram and possibly pick up the first down. I can't because Saquon hit me right into JJ Watt. And um brutal, brutal. All right, we really need to stop here. A turnover would be amazing. I am holding triangle. Oh my god, dude. Stop celebrating. You're costing us the game. He doesn't even go for the interception. I'm holding why. I see the ball in the air. I hold Y. He goes, Bleh, just lets it hit him. Unbelievable. Oh, and it's a hit from Landon Collins. Lamar Miller doesn't fumble. Cough up the football, somebody. Have we had a fumble this entire series? I know it's just like two and three quarter games, but... Ugh. So I, I, think, I think it was a good call to go for... Uh, the fourth down conversion because if we get it it's so huge for us and I, I like this I'm gonna actually audible out I'm gonna I'm looking over the middle dude hopefully something gets open Odell Odell burned Odell burned him Odell please he's outrunning Jonathan Joseph Odell Beckham Jr. into the end zone touchdown and there is hope 73 yards for Odell Beckham Jr. is gonna keep us in the game that was the exact huge quick score that we needed. And it's going to be 22 to 16. That was absolutely gigantic. Am I a 99 head coach? That's my true calling. I'm not good at the game, clearly. But boy, can I call a good audible at the line every once in a while. Make the tackle. Darian Thompson. Huge, huge tackle. Gigantic. Even though we're down in this game, we're in a pretty good spot. We just got to be careful with the football. Don't turn it over. Play to win. Nothing nothing really got open uh, as Scarlett picks up the sack there. I know second and 18 is bad. I know, I know that it's not great. I know second and 18 is not exactly where you want to be. It's a hell of a lot better than throwing a potential game-ending ending interception there. So I really had to play that conservatively. As we... Oh, man. How? And we had another injury, dude. I need this slider to go way down. It's so high. Even when I turn it down, injuries happen so often. Third and 18. I mean, you don't really have a play for this. Just kind of have to hope something develops. That's going to be an interception. I tried to throw it quick. And, uh... uh Tyre Matthew gets his third of the game. He's the, uh... He's the only one of uh, any really player to hurt us on the Texans this game. Oh, that's not even really a sentence. This is this is real bad. Damon Harrison's out for the year. And uh, they're going to run the ball. Lamar Miller breaks a tackle and uh, fights his way into the end zone for the touchdown. I think the trick to winning is really just like don't throw it where Tyron Matthew is. He has hurt us the entire game a lot. And the best look is to go to Odell Beckham Jr. in single coverage. He drops it. Oh, man. That would have been an awesome catch. 
That would have been an awesome catch. That would have been huge for us, too. We're going to streak him again. He's, our, he's just our best chance at success. And we'll check down to Saquon Barkley. That's an absolute dime by Kyle Oletta on the run. That post. I want to streak. We're going to post him anyway. We don't really have time. We got to snap the ball. God! If you snap it the first fucking 50 times I pressed X. This game, dude. It makes me want to stab somebody. Oh, I could see jail time for a while. Odell burned him. Kyle Oletta completes the pass, I think, to Odell. And Odell has another touchdown. Okay. All right. 59 yards. It's a big one. We are, we're not out of the woods yet, though. Could have called a timeout there. I think this is better for us. And we're just going to hope OV and coverage is bad. That's bad. We just got to play the first down and hope they don't get it. It's going to be a run. That's a great tackle from Lorenzo Carter. Single-handedly keeping us in the game right now. We're not going to talk about Odell. We all know. Third and 12. 4-4 four, has been big. We're going to go. We're going to go big nickel. They're going to run the football. Please, someone bring it down. All right. We're going to call our final timeout. They chose to run the ball and take off a few seconds just to make us use their final timeout. I get it. It's going to be fourth and nine. Shane Leckler will punt. Kyle Aletta has his first, in his first game, not even a start, in his first ever playing time for us outside of the preseason. He's going to have a two-minute drill to potentially win the game on the road. Energy Stadium, not exactly known for being uh, a hellhole for opposing teams, despite being um, a dome. We'll see what we can do. A minute and 30. Of course, we're playing with a certain level of uh, aggression here, but nothing too crazy. We need to keep the ball. We have a minute and 21 seconds. Odell burned, but Sterling Shepard is a safe throw. He fumbled the ball! Yo, Sterling, why? Why? We have such a good shot to win, and he fucking fumbles. Oh my god, dude. That's the game. That's how we lose here in week three. Ah, uh, he was open. He catches it and he coughs it up. I mean, what do you say? These are entertaining games, I think. There's, they've been all close. I think these sliders play a lot better. The running game is still bad. The Texans have a great defensive line. Great defensive line. You look at Jadavian Clowney on the edge. J.J. Watt, Whitney Merciless is solid. D.J. Reader is solid. Christian Covington is at least average. Maybe slightly below average. They've got a good defensive line. Their linebacking core is pretty solid. Kyle Oletta was decent. I mean, Eli was also decent, but he just played less. And his quarterback rating was worse because he didn't throw a touchdown. But 7 for 9, 79 yards. Uh, it was a good first experience for Kyle Oletta. He's not going to get the start for week four. I'm going to tell you right now. He's just, he won't. Eli is healthy. He's going to start. Saquon Barkley, seven rushes, 22 yards. It's hard to feed someone when um, they're not very effective. And I can't continue to pound the rock. Jonathan Stewart, that's already starting running back. Just kidding. Odell obviously went off. Eight catches, 199, 190 yards, two touchdowns. It was a beast. Sterling Shepard grabbed the touchdown as well. DeAndre Hopkins had one. He's, he's a really good player. Um, as far as sacks allowed, Nate Solder let up four. Omame with two. John Greco with one. He's out for the season, probably. Janoris Jenkins led our team in tackles. Tackles for loss, five. Five? Five from Lorenzo Carter. He had the most total tackles. Well, actually, Alec Ogletree did. Never mind. Interceptions, Tyron Matthew had three. Darian Thompson for us had one. Jonathan Joseph had one. Forced fumbles, of course. The Texans forced two. We forced none. A couple of uh, fumble recoveries as well. No defensive touchdowns. That was a really tough game. I hope I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a fun game to play. It was tough, but uh, not unfair. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you're new. Subscribe, whatever. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.